Okay guys, so in this vlog, I'm gonna be doing activities I enjoy when I'm alone. This includes window shopping, looking at cute pastries, eating at a new restaurant with a cool view, and of course, chatting with you guys. And today's topic is all about my first job in Japan. I hope you enjoy. I'm trying to decide where to have lunch, like late lunch today. And I think I'm going to this place in Shibuya. It's called Tsurutontan. I want to try it out because look at the view. It's overlooking the scramble. So I think it's going to be so nice to like eat while watching people across the streets. I'm just gonna brush my teeth because I drank coffee so I can taste the coffee in my mouth still and it tastes really gross so yeah I'm gonna brush my teeth and then we are gonna leave I'm gonna start filming the wine spill video so please look forward to oh. I think I'm also gonna try and look for a nice bag that I can bring around with me here because guys look look how bad my bag looks right now like look at that stain and it's like slowly giving up on me I wanted to bring my smaller bag but then it doesn't really fit my stuff and this one's really light because it's canvas so it's not like your heavy leather bag that's why I prefer to bring this one around but it just doesn't match the outfit here at Ikea and I'm just gonna check for home decor. Look how cool this room is. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love the color, it's hot pink. It's like um, a pop star's dressing room. I'm trying to decide if I'm still gonna decorate my room in the countryside. So I'm looking at IKEA to check for inspo. This looks so cool. I think I'm gonna get a candle. I'm picking between this fruity scent or this vanilla scent. Let's get this. This is nice. Like this is a pretty big mirror. And it's also really affordable. I 
found this vending machine for pearls. Oh my god, you can actually buy accessories here. Let's check this. picked up desserts um, I was actually looking for a bakery on the way back good thing I saw this in front of Shibuya crossing when I was on the way to the station their strawberry shortcake is the best so I'm gonna eat that with you guys I'm gonna share it with my brother too but he's out right now so yeah we are home alone it's so fun I spent the whole day alone and I really liked it I like going around and seeing new places I wasn't able to go to a cafe because it was getting too late already I feel like if I drink caffeine I'm not gonna fall asleep so yeah we just got cake and I want to chat with you guys. How are you guys doing? For the past few weeks, I've been on a low. Like, my life's been like this. Yeah, when I got here, it just changed. Like, the energy. Like, I don't know. I have so much energy when I'm here. Like, I always feel like vlogging. I love going around. I love the city so much. I feel like Aika a year ago wouldn't really wouldn't be able to comprehend that, you know, she this is what she's going to do like that she'll be able to do this like coming from the countryside. While I eat my tiny cake, um, I want to share with you my first ever job experience in my life and also here in Japan because this is where I worked. I started working when I was in grade 11 and yeah, I started working here. It's called Arbaito in Japan, part-time job. Um, I was in grade 11 and at that time, I would keep coming like back and forth here in Japan and I would stay for two to three months during my summer break and my holiday break. So yeah, at that time I was so bored because, okay, picture this. I lived in the countryside and we wouldn't really do much because like my parents were both working and it was just so boring. Like there's not much to do in the countryside. so. Being there as a teenager, yeah, I was bored out of my mind. Um, and then one day, a friend of my mom asked if I wanted to work at the place she works at. It's at a packaging um, company. And I just said yes because I wanted to try it out. Because I wasn't really doing anything, so might as well earn while I'm here. We want a lot of things in life. And in order to get those things that we want, we need money and we need to work to get that money. So that's how I viewed it. The pay was big for me at that time. Okay, I'm gonna reference it to like how it is in the Philippines because that's where I lived. Where I come from in the Philippines, it's not really a thing for like high school students to work. Going back to how much I earned, it was around 350 pesos to 400 pesos per hour. So I was like, oh my god, okay, I'm gonna go work because that's a big money for me. Because in the Philippines, you can earn that in a day, like 400 pesos in a day. That's like the minimum wage in the Philippines. Whereas here, I can earn it in an hour. So I'm like, okay, I was so excited. Like, okay, let's do this. Let's go work. And I remember during my first day, I worked for eight hours. Guys, eight hours. I was standing up for eight hours. I was like, damn, I did not see this coming. I didn't think that it would be this 
tiring. I can't imagine like others standing up for hours in a day. I just had like massive respect for people who like whose job is more on like the physical side. Like where you have to like move and stuff in order to like get your job done. So after my first day, I decided that you know what, I don't think I can do eight hours. I'm just gonna go home early because I'm really happy that the company I worked for was really lenient because the job was very easy. Like anyone can do the job. It's um, a packaging job. It's like a factory work, and yeah, we would package like coffee, like for UCC tea and like food yeah it was it was fine it was really easy like anyone can do it but i think my main struggle with that job was that I, it was really boring because um you do the same thing for eight hours so sometimes you kind of feel like a robot already like doing the same thing for eight hours like getting the tea putting it in the box and yeah getting the tea putting it in a box again that's just the whole um the whole activity for the whole day this is so good i wish i can share my cake with you guys that job that experience was a big eye opener for me because it really made me realize how hard it was to earn money like oh my god this is what people do to live and like i also realized a lot of things about myself that I can't do this type of job that I need to really know what I want in order for me to like be happy with my work in the future of course at that time I just thought of that job as a way to like make money but then looking back at it now I feel like it's so much more than that because I I got to know myself more i feel like that comes with like different experiences we have in our lives like every experience has its like has the reason why it's happening like it's there to like make you realize something which is so crazy because while i was working there i just kept telling myself okay i got like when you grow up you're gonna do something you really love like a work that it's not gonna be boring like it's something you're gonna enjoy and you're gonna have freedom to uh, like create what you want that's what i wanted like it made me realize that okay i'm not meant for this job but this is what i want right now i really treat every experience as a learning opportunity maybe like a sad experience a boring one a happy one it's something that i can learn from and I'm really grateful that I got to realize that at an early age and that I got to work at an early age also because that opened up so many opportunities for me. I got to travel with the money I earned. I got to buy things I wanted. Also this camera that I'm filming on right now. If there's an opportunity that's in front of you guys right now and it may not look glamorous but if you know that you can learn from it then I suggest that you guys should go for it the more experiences we get the better we become as a person like we mature more we learn more things so yeah i think i'm gonna end today's vlog here i'm really happy that we got to have this chat i'll see you guys next week bye